What's up all my webheads? Welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. I'm your host, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to bring you the 2023 room tour. I should say like Spider Slayer's Slayer Tour. Uh, a lot of you guys have never seen the complete room before. I most recently shared it in a other video, but I want to dedicate this video to this room so you guys can see everything. And I recently did a nice little addition to this space so i'm going to share it with you and let's not waste any more time all right guys so here we go the tour of spider slayer's lair you get to see everything that is inside now for a lot of you that may not know my channel for very long yes everything is kept in the actual garage now i have my high higher dollar comics actually kept inside so they you know don't potentially get ruined but i have not had bad experience with my comics in this garage most of the time it is kept closed and at times it could get a little heated but for the most part it is okay so we're going to take a tour of the stuff that's in this garage and uh, i got a new piece for this set and i'm happy to share it with you guys so first things first here we're going to take a look at the statues that are up top Right, and then we got some knickknacks up here, which I'm looking to clear out so I can add some more on the buses or statues or whatnot. These are the only on the buses I do own, but there are some good ones right here. And then we get to see some of these PVC statues right here also. And we got more trades on the bottom and more trades on the bottom below that. We have my wonderful John Romita Jr. poster here of Amazing Spider-Man issue, I'm not sure. Uh, but this is one of the better ones because it, you know, it's got Black Cat si fighting side by side with Spider-Man on there. There is my Marvel bucket hat that I showed you guys and wear it a few times on the channel. And then here is some more of the PVC statues, which is really cool. Uh, I actually have a couple of graded comic books hanging up on the wall. Uh, and, you know, it's just to have a nice, cool background. And this one is an actual uh, piece of art. People have thought that this is comic books hanging behind me. No, this is something that I got at Ross for $20, guys. And it actually is a defective product. And I'll show you why. This particular cover right here is the same on the bottom down here. But what I did was I took a piece of paper from a magazine and I kind of put it over <laughs> that picture there so it makes it look like there's another one there so this I've had a long time and it's been a center point in my background for forever obviously you guys know the traditional um, spider-man posters there's actually two of them I got them at Megacon very nice definitely highlights the background here we get to see a couple more of my graded comic books and then we see more on the on the side right here. Uh, if you're wondering where I got these LED lights, I got them super cheap, guys. I got them up five below. I spent five bucks. I mean, you don't have to spend a lot of money to make your background in your comic rooms or man caves to look pretty awesome, right? Now, the one thing that I really want to highlight here is that Ewin actually sponsored the channel and sent me this nice... Uh, desk in the mail it's a rgb gaming desk it is made for gaming but you can use it for other things it has a carbon fiber tabletop on here so you can put your computer or gaming systems or whatever it is on there it actually has led lights that go to sound uh, which is awesome and this thing was easy to put together i put it together in about 10 minutes guys uh, it actually has a space to put like your wires through and it also has a wireless charging station as well And again, this has given me lots of space to do my most recent videos on What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the link in the description box below So if you guys are interested in a brand new desk and you want something sturdy and has a large workspace And you want something that looks a little flashy on the side guys Go ahead, click on that link. I have a discount code on there, uh, CBC, I think it is, and you can order yourself a desk. I think it costs about $450 for this. Now, when you go towards the mic, 
Uh, the mic here is a traditional Yeti mic. A lot of people have you uh, use these mics for a very long time. Uh, you can get these for dirt cheap, right? A ring light, ring, uh, excuse me, a ring light right here. Super cheap, affordable. I think I spent $30 on this one, okay? So now let's get to some of the comic books over here. And these are the comics that are yet to put away. So a lot of times when I buy a whole bunch of comics, what I do is I wind up just kind of sitting them up and they might be older issues or newer issues that still have to go in the short or long boxes. And I kind of stack them right over here. Here we get to see the most amazing Spider-Man comic issues that I most recently bought at um, Comic Central. And they're yet to go into this box right here. This whole long box is all amazing Spider-Man issues. So we have that going on. I have these little holders here that I ordered from Etsy uh, that hold my CGC graded comics or raw comics. And here you get to see a couple of books that I got most recently from Mutant Beaver Comics and I uh, got 9.8s on them. So that's pretty cool. Uh, over here I have more comics that need to be put away. Most of these books are just older books. Okay, uh, They tend to stack up because in my short boxes they're buried. So I have to uncover them and put them away. This desk is where I keep all my supplies. This is where I keep like my bags and boards and just bookmarks, my painter's tape and all kinds of other stuff. And when you open this up, there's all my packing materials that I use to send stuff out. Uh, <laughs> random trades are sitting in there. So yeah, there's just a lot of different things. As we come over to this portion of the, of the tour, we have uh, some of these nice little, I think uh, these were Marvel I don't know if these were chess pieces. I don't remember what they were, but they were pretty cool. And I collect them at one time. More PVC statues as we get to see Venom. And we have Spider-Man here. We have Ultimate Fallout as well and the Funko Amazing Spider-Man 300. Up top, you get to see some posters. We got a little DC in there, guys. And Red Goblin poster. We have some more artwork up top. And here, is where all the actual comics are kept. Uh, I will have a garage sale again probably in December. So I got to go through a lot of comics that I actually do not want. And as you can see, when I label comics, uh, here was is Amazing Spider-Man run. So I have Amazing Spider-Man Zeb Wells, Amazing Spider-Man Nick Spencer, um, and then there's like Spectacular Spider-Man, the Miscellaneous Spider-Man, and then I just kind of label things like Marvel 2023, Venom, King in Black, Marvel 2022, classic comics. This is the X-Men box as you get to see all the different types of X-Men books in here. And then here is my most recent just Venom books. These are just all Venom stuff in here. And then, yes, the great old Zeb Wells Amazing Spider-Man run. Uh, but there are some great variant covers in this run and I've been recently trying to collect a lot of the variant covers when it comes to Amazing Spider-Man because I'm just a huge fan and you know even though maybe the stories may not be great at least there's some decent artwork in here as well so lots of great stuff in these comics. I have an actual spawn bo a box that has all my spawn books in here. Um, so we get to see we have a spawn issue number one. Here is a Batman spawn issue one. And then I have a spawn issue one newsstand. So that's, that's kind of cool. I like that. And then a lot of you guys know that I've been collecting my Angela covers on here. So I have about six or seven copies of those. Here we have um, all kinds of image comics, tons of them. We got Batman, Batman, indie books, image titles, Green Lantern, just everything and anything when it comes to these comic books. Now, if you guys want me to do like a, a series of showing off these comics, let me know. I've tried it a bunch of different times. It just It's just hard to commit to, but if I can make it like multiple parts, with a box at a time, then you know. let me know in the comments below if you really would love to see that. But here are some more books right here as I'm collecting you know, Web of Spider-Man and whatnot. So now we're gonna turn around 
and we're going to see this little section right here. So this section is two boxes of all my uh, CGC graded comic books that I have. I started collecting CGC books last year, and as you can see, I have two boxes full. Now I have a Bojangles box that keeps <laughs> graded comic books in there, but I have quite a few. I have a uh, Squirrel Girl in here. Here is a Spawn variant cover at a 9.4. Crisis on Infinite Earths on here. I have a 9.8 uh, Venom signed by uh, Tyler Kirkham in here. So there's a lot of different types of variant covers and regular covers and older stuff too. Um, and so I'm liking my little CGC collection that I have here. All right. And then over here is something else that I wanted to let you guys know. If you guys are a fan of Mark Spears, who most recently did this cover right here and other Spawn covers, he has a Kickstarter going on with his um, monsters. And he's coming out with a Series 2. And they're cards. And they're really awesome, guys. They're so detailed. They're just like this print that he sent me. And... Uh, he has raised over 16000 on this Kickstarter so far. He's trying to reach those stretch goals. And these things are absolutely gorgeous. So if you guys are interested in Mark Spears' monster cards and backing the project, like I said, I'll leave the link in the description box below. So you guys are getting a couple of things if you're interested in. Mark Spears' monsters, the desk, and then I got one more thing here. Um... This one is from Card Mafia. If you guys love playing cards and collecting playing cards, here I have a Spider-Man black and gold suit, and then I have a Doctor Strange uh, card set as well. And I will leave the link in the description box below when it comes to that stuff. I'll be doing some giveaways when it comes to all of these things that I showed you, whether it comes to the cards or the monster cards. So stay tuned for that. And then, Next on our little tour, we have the workstation. So these are the comics that I know for sure that I will be selling in the most recent garage sale. Okay, uh, Books that I truly don't want or their number one issues that I wasn't interested in or actually giveaways. So I most recently got a package from Mutant Beaver Comics and uh, they sent me a bunch of variants. And so these could be things that are, you know, going to be given away in the near future you get to see a couple graded comics in there and then again more stuff that i'm giving away or not giving away but selling in the future garage sale uh, a lot of these books will probably be dollar books and these ones that are not bagged and boarded will probably be quarter books but uh yeah the next one i have is going to be a huge huge sale so yeah there's a lot of books that i've accumulated that i haven't want in the past year or so and again I got to go through all of this to make a decision on what I want to keep or what I want to sell. So hopefully in December, which I'm thinking is the next garage sale, you guys will attend. All right, guys. So there you have it. There is the room tour. Hopefully you liked it. You know, this side of the garage is looking pretty nice. The other side, not so hot. But hey, at least all those comics are pretty much organized, right? So hopefully you guys enjoyed the tour. If you're interested in the desk the Mark Spears Monster Cards or the Card Mafia Cards. Again, I'll leave all those links in the comments, uh, excuse me, in the description box below. And of course, guys, I'll leave you more content somewhere in this screen for you to click on. So guys, as always, have a great weekend. Keep buying, keep collecting, but always remember, read your comics. I'll see you real soon, everyone. Take care.